Lieutenant Rodar, KIA. I've issued the order for all ships to converge at the rendezvous. Unfortunately, this con quick reaction force is still trailing us, likely intent on depleting our ammunitions, harassing us, and reporting our position back to a larger task force. It's time we dealt with this distraction. Captain, I'm sorry. Lieutenant Roder was a good man. He was. He he died in the line of duty, saved the POWs, and in many ways, with the Vesuvius in our hands, might have even given us the keys to winning this war. It's better than most uh, of us could have said. On that, what's the status of the Vesuvius? Unknown, but judging by columns at the time, not great. I have... Avoided contacting them to stay off the grid. We've been in on and off active contact with uh, KEQRF. We don't want to give away the position of the Vesuvius. I intend the force to issue shortly so we can buy some breathing room and uh, link up with the Vesuvius. Understood, sir. What's the plan with the Constellation? I think uh, we need to keep it out of sight for now. We'll do this, uh, we'll force this action, and then we will. Uh, we will grab her and rendezvous. From there, we'll make a decision with the riders and CDF present. Yes, sir. XO, let's uh, let's go hunting. Remove our shielding or remove our cowling. Let's uh, blast out uh, as much EM into space as possible. Let's let them know we're here, and then set yes, general sir. quarters. General quarters. General quarters. General quarters. All hands, man your battle stations. Up and forward. Oh, they're lighting up everywhere, sir. Roger that. Desi ventral designators off. Re-enable. Roger that. All yours, kid. All right. All head full. Help. All head full. Slow down to the spot bug. Acknowledge. Full reverse. Full reverse. Full reverse. Helm. Dampeners off. Uh, right 90 degrees. That right, uh, right hard over 90 degrees. Uh, dampeners off. I just faced through the window. Right button hook, hard over. Right button hook, hard over. Steady she goes, all head full. Steady she goes, all head full. 
Gunner, uh, dorsal gunnery, target in view. Say again? More lead, more lead, more lead. Push to auto. Right hard over. Right hard over. Ooh, she chose poorly. Do not get a knife fight range with this beast. Oh my god, we're really doing it. Oh, I'm full. He's being kind. Why'd you say it? Exo, get over there! Slap him on the side of the head! Yes, sir! Help, uh, all stop, all reverse! All stop, reverse! Right hard over. Right hard over. Disengage dampeners. Disengage dampeners. Dorsal, dorsal ventral target coming into view now. All in full. Elm, I want you nose hot on the tired. The tired. What the? I didn't say to do that. Hey, no, no, no. we do not have downplay. On the morning, no. uh, bring us down to one quarter in post. Downplay. One quarter in post. Downplay. Uh, roll right, forty degrees. Rolling right, forty degrees. Right hard over. Right hard over. Flank speed. I'll stop, I'll stop. I'll stop. I'll add full close distance with the targets. Nose hot, you have authorization with the lands. Uh, I don't know. Three. Three confirmed kills. Excellent. Trinity, this is Vesuvius. We got you on our scopes. Acknowledged, Vesuvius. We are closing in now. Do you have any information on Rotor? We haven't seen him. Negative. I received the same information you received. He pulled off with the station, and his vital signs faded to, uh... We're in extreme state when we lost contact with him. He is presumed KIA. Well, well, well what? Constellation, be advised. We will be maneuvering. I suggest you pull away. Head for Point two kilometer distance. Port side hangar coming open. Roger that. Exo, I believe we should still maintain some level of defensive formation. Yes, sir. Look at that. It's the Vesuvius. If only Rotor was here to see her. Hmm. She'd have given anything for that. And he did give everything for that. I mean, was there no way to save him? He voluntarily gave his life for the uh, betterment of the riders in the EFN, and to a degree, the CDF. I don't understand you, military guys. This is the EFN. Uh, this is the EFN actual to the Vesuvius coming. Vesuvius. Go for Vesuvius. <clears throat> Vesuvius, recommend you detach your uh, your command staff, or actually most of your staff, and leave a skeleton crew behind land on the Eternity, and we shall discuss our proposed actions moving forward from here uh, as a group. Suvius copies. Embark at your location now. XO. Yes, sir. Um, we're gonna play things a little hot and loose here, but I want the entire EFN crew in Rotor's quarters, please. Yes, sir. Alright, we're just waiting on Dolphin. <clears throat> and Ace. No, Ace is in the hallway. Gentlemen, gather around. 
don't know. Maybe leave that on, actually. Aye, sir. Well, let's not beat around the bush. We lost someone today. Lieutenant Rotor was as good as they come. Was he the best leader? I don't know. He never had a moment to, to flourish. Was he the best gunner? Yeah, he did all right. Did he use the rocket launcher way too goddamn much? <laughs> <laughs> he did. Absolutely. But at the end of the day, he gave it his all. He truly believed in the cause, and he believed at all moments to do what is right for the riders, then the EFN. We're going to have some tough days ahead of us. If you have a moment of doubt, look to your left, to your right, and remember those we left behind. Remember Lieutenant Rodor and likely many more to come. We'll be sure to pop a, a drink out for him. But today we have work to do. We're in a precarious situation. Rodor's sacrifice put us in a position of in a position of power. We have the Vesuvius in an unknown state off of our port side now. We have the Watchful Eye, which apparently was left behind in a recent battle, but has crew aboard. We have the CDF aboard. The Eternity crew is all together. We have the Constellation. We have the ability to make a change here, to influence this war in our favor. We have a lot of people on board. So forgive me if I dispense with the formalities and we do what needs to be done so we can get the day going properly. Tiber, front and center. Aye, right, sir. Your chance, I want to go after those sons of bitches. You'll get your chance, but we want to do it right. No more sacrifices. Tiber, with your action so far with the Eternity, you are promoted to Lieutenant of the EFN Navy. Congratulations. Aye, right, sir. Pyro, front and center. Pyro, you might not be the most enthusiastic, the most gung-ho person, but you've always cared about the ship, and you've done a well, you've gone well and above and beyond in securing her during battle. Recruit Pyro, congratulations. You are now Petty Officer Second Class. Thank you yes. for your service. I mean, uh, thank you, sir. Good. K-Max. Well, congratulations. Front and center. You've only been on this vessel a short time, but you've been giving it your all, and you've been melding with the crew, and you were friends with Lieutenant Rodor. I'm, I'm sorry this is your, probably one of your most defining memories so far, but hopefully there will be many more to come. Congratulations, Petty Officer Third Class, k -Max. Thank you, sir. Gentlemen, we have work to do. Dolphin. Pyro, I need an ammunition sit rep in 10 minutes when we meet down in the, uh, the meeting room. We'll be having everyone gathering together and we'll be ascertaining the situation of the combined, combined Riders CDF EFN fleet. So figure out ammo reserves, status report of the ships, uranium, ice, hydrogen, you name it. Aye, sir. Yes, sir. Ace, I need you to get the entirety of the Rider CDF contingents in the uh, break room next to the meeting room. Pass out some colas, the usual. Yes, sir. That is all. Aye, sir. Aye, sir. All right. Exo. Go down to... Actually, before you go. Uh, do we leave this room off limits just for a little bit? I think we should, sir. Other than being a fucking weapons hazard <laughs> I think uh, I think it's best if we leave, leave this room off limits I think we need to take the EFN marked equipment out but otherwise <clears throat> this room is rotors let's keep it that way for the time being yeah um, yes, sir. when you have a moment introduce uh with Tiber becoming a lieutenant, he, he gets his own quarters up here. Yes, sir. Roger that. Let him know when uh whenever it's convenient. Roger that. Go uh let's get uh let's get the riders and CDF on board. I don't think the EFN has ever been this lively. It should be interesting. Yes, sir.
Y debería de estar que el güey. ¿Qué es No, guys, guys, hold on. There's a trick to it. You gotta kick it. XO, how's it going? Sir? Nice work. A lot of people uh, here, huh? What the heck are they yes, doing sir. back there? Yeah, you better clean us up. Oh, fuck. Uh, stop kicking the thing. They've never seen this oh, much oh. technology, huh? Probably been in... <laughs> you broke it. All right, I think no. we should get this started, nice. right? There's a yes, trick sir. to these vending machines. On you can get the core for free. Here, sir. Gentlemen! Gentlemen! Uh, Captain Brock. There will be time for introductions shortly. Um, once you've gotten a beverage, please just head right across the hallway. We'll be getting the show on the road. As you might know, we're on the clock. Let's, uh, so grab a drink. We'll see you on the other side uh, in the la or in the um, the briefing room. Right. Uh, Go. Yeah. Yep. Uh, yep. Sure. So, oh, K-Max, thanks. with you being a third yep. class now, you're one of the only people I... Um, I believe so. Uh, how, where the fuck do I sit, Ace? Uh, your normal seat, sir? Yeah, maybe I swap, because they're all behind me now. Fuck oh. it. We'll do, the, we'll do the power move. <laughs> Thanks, Cap. All right, gentlemen, before we get started, there is a ginormous, potentially cutlass size elephant in this room that needs addressing. CDF, riders, even EFN. Let's be frank, most of us have begun to resent each other, and that's putting it nicely. Every single one of us has grievances with the others, and they're, uh, we'll just say, somewhat justified. And who knows when all of this shit started. Probably as soon as the EFN arrived, and then even earlier with the riders in the CDF. I'm not saying let's wipe that slate clean. But reports are not looking good from the outer reach. The riders are getting pounded into the sand the moment this war has started. The CDF recently lost nine ships in two hours. They are still likely counting the losses at this very moment. And the EFN, we've lost one of our own. I can't say we can change things in our factions as a whole, but perhaps in our little corner of space here. Let's, uh, let's try dropping that. So let's put that aside for now. Let's come up with a plan of action. Does that sound good, gentlemen? It's hey, all me. Acceptable. Understood. Sounds fine. Seems, seems reasonable indeed. Roger that. Number one thing on the agenda. The rider assets present here today. The Vesuvius and the... Uh... Fly, sir. Roger that. Who is uh, the commanding officer of the riders? Have you guys figured that out? It will be me, sir. Take the power position on the table. This is how we're doing stuff now. All right. I need a no-bullshit assessment. How is the Watchful Eye, and how is the Vesuvius? I hope you had a chance to inspect the Vesuvius. What's your honest opinion? Well... Oh. Oh, oh sorry. Uh, if I can... I <laughs> took a report of the ship. It's pretty much halfway done. Uh, it has the basic components to be able to move, and... The weapon systems are active. No ammo on them, though, because well, I think we pick it out before we finish it. But it needs resources to be fully operational. I understood. Can How we get the watch for life? Condition based on the shipyard. Guess status of the watch for life. Uh, mostly superficial hull damage, but only half forward and reverse thrusters. Understood. Ace, the constellation is. Any heavy weight. Understood. Ace, how's the constellation looking? Captain, constellation's doing well. No hull damage. Shield's doing great, and uh, ammo could be better, but she'll do. Roger that. Dolphin, you hear me down there? 
What? I can barely hear you. Open your helmet. What? Open your open your helmet. There, there you go. What? I can still not hear you down there. Don't make me send the X over there to hit you. You can hear me just fine. Um, what is the status of the Eternity? What's our ammo reserves looking? Fucking Christ. What are our ammo reserves looking like? Resources. Ammo seems fine, but we're completely out of nickel at this point. So making 220s is going to be a bit tough. Roger that. We recovered a lot of resources from uh, from uh, the Winchester Shipyard wreck site. Do you think we can convert some of that into nickel, which will allow us to get 220s and other resources? That's what I'm currently doing at the moment, sir. I'm taking down some uh, 1500 millimeters, not 15, sorry, uh, 150 millimeters. Uh, turning them down to raw materials again and turning them over to 220. Roger that. Don't commit to the switch to 220 yet, just yet. Uh, just keep it as nickel for now, and I'll talk to you later about something uh, in that regard. Roger that, sir. How's hydrogen, ice, and the, the likes? Ice is completely drained. We've been drained for ice for some time now. What are our tanks uh, looking like? About, uh, oxygen is at 100%, actually. Uh, hydrogen is down to 70%. 70%. Roger that. Ace, put this on my Rolodex. Ice is a pretty big priority. As is yes, sir. Gentlemen, have no illusions. I intend to take the ve all vessels here on the offensive. Riders, I've already talked to the CDF. They're with us to the end, as per their high command. I have to ask you, no bullshit, are you guys willing to follow us to the ends of the earth? I have a question. Go for it. You mentioned wreckage of Winchester? Yes. Just give me the short story, please. What, what exactly happened? Our information is spotty at best. We don't... We don't fully understand what's going on. We can only receive errant transmissions. Uh, we're unable to transmit back to the inner or the outer reach for fear of compromising our position, exposing our uh, ciphers, so on and so forth. As far as we know, the entire front line has fallen and the entire COA is on the back foot. Riders are fighting at uh, the cantina. They are trying counterattacks, but they're pushed back to the cantina. The CDF are pushed back to your headquarters and the fight over the central tiles have begun. Casualties are horrific. It won't be long till the COA falls. We have lost contact to all rider command. Do you know who's in charge? How's the how's the admiralty doing? Uh, I do know who's in charge. With the loss of Admiral Omni, uh, MIA, uh, Admiral Zelfion has taken over, um, and he's currently in command. That is the last I know of the situation. Think they're better on the home front. All right, I'm technically not in a position to make that decision, but since we are at the risk of not having a home to return to, I don't see any other way but forward. Good. So we I have your this. so I have your cooperation then. Yes. I think this goes without saying. Right? However, with the status of the Eternity as the dominant vessel, uh, we will be taking charge of combat, tactical, and uh, supply-based. Um, uh, orders and decision making. We will work in concert with uh, the riders and CDF present here. However, since the CDF are under our command structure, I think for simplicity stakes, it will work best if you uh, you are also under our command structure. Is that acceptable? This is acceptable. To my understanding, despite the hasty retreat from the front line, the coalition is still intact. Yeah, that's uh, we're that's willing to cooperate you, with you on this offense, but keep in mind we are not an asset of the Earth Federal Navy. I understand that. All right, then I'm willing to follow your orders and make sure my men do as well. Roger that. We may want to consider a temporary rank boost to keep things organized here. I believe you are the commander of the riders, and thus you are the second strongest element here. I think unofficially, if we designate you lieutenant commander, that might work out some ranking conflicts that we might bump into. Does that sound acceptable? I've been through the ranks all over the last months, so yeah, this is acceptable. Understood. Well, let's make some decision making. When you head back to the Vesuvius, I'd like you to draft up a list and requests for what the Vesuvius needs. Ammo, supplies, so on and so forth. We want the Vesuvius to be stocked so she can conduct her own repairs should she get separated from the Eternity 
and she needs her own ammunition supply to fight alongside the Eternity, as well as have reserves. That being said, you could tell, we're quite low ourselves, so do understand that when making your request. Roger that. Quida, uh, you've been on the design team of the Vesuvius, right? Yep. Oh no, he's over there, Quida. Good. Uh, you're in charge of this project, you grab Corp, put the list together. Understood. And yeah, Still trying to wrap my head around some of the changes the cons made to her while they had her in shipyard. Oh. One question, if I may, sir. Yeah. When is the next contact with the cons expected? Uh, their QRF will likely hit us within a week. Uh, however, if we push the issue whenever we decide to go. Understood. Roger that. Is there any questions here of those assembled? Negative. Well, Understood. That would be all. One final thing. I would like everyone that isn't Lute uh, Lieutenant Commander Tyler, uh, Captain Ace, and who's the uh, commanding officer of the CDF? Uh, I am. All right. If I, you didn't hear your name, you may you may head out of uh, here, head to your taskings, and do what needs to be done. Those those uh, three stand here. Alright, someone fetch me a grinder. First thing to right, is that she needs she needs Someone got a beer. Back. Good luck, boys. Later, dog. I think you're going to the wrong guy, guy. Alright, here comes the tough bit. What's the fucking game plan? May I suggest a push up to 1Z? From there, we'll have the opportunity to push back into, well, what used to be friendly space. Okay, that is the one of the options. It's the most offensive option of the options. It relies on yep. trying to win this war in the shortest time possible. We never got a chance to really scout the territory or gather any intel of what, expect, what to expect. Unfortunately, we're being jammed hard. We know a location of a trade station, and we know there is a fob in Tile 1Z. That is all information we have at this time. There is likely a very strong uh, electronic warfare squadron trailing us, and we can't see shit right now. Good. Okay, my, my suggestion. What what the CDF and the riders we need right now is some breathing room. And we can only give them that breathing room if the Khan's offensive comes to a stop and they are forced to turn back and deal with the situation here. So I recommend we do walk into the territory to do as much damage as possible and give them a reason to turn around. Yeah, that's kind of where I've been going. Ace, do you have any suggestions? I agree with the commander. Although I understand that we are limited on intel at this time, we need to do some damage. We need to take out priority structures of the cons to limit their production and pull their attention away from the front. Apologies, uh, Legacy, but I understand the desire for the Eternity to join at the front by pushing up through 1Z. However, it is my opinion, we will basically be going towards the asset scrambled to take us out. We can't stand up in a straight fight against the KE war machine. It is my opinion I... that that is non-acceptable. I understand. Roger that. I think... While we don't really know what's around us, I think our objective should be to push deeper into KE space. And instead of... I believe we should prioritize supply lines. That means FOBs and the ability for the cons to fight a war. We're never going to get to a point where we're going to attrition the cons by ourselves. However, I believe if we can cripple their supplies, as you guys mentioned, and their ability to sustain their war effort at the current scale, we might be able to give the, the COA at minimum some breathing room, and maybe they can take back some territory. However, a secondary priority needs to be resources. We can't keep doing that. Over the coming days, I think I will discuss with you three the possibility of uh, potentially boarding a FOB or something to that effect, or boarding a trade station or something to that effect. All options are on the table. We need to think outside of the box here. We are in a very unique situation. Affirmative. May I suggest the trade Just station? The... Go ahead, uh, Lieutenant Commander. 
They potentially Does offer... Does the captain of the uh, Federation Navy suggest we turn to piracy? We're not turning to piracy. We're at war, Lieutenant Commander. This is called war. I don't intend to pussyfoot around and uh, give human rights to those that have not given it to us. We are attacking hardened military targets to, uh, well, to gain an edge in war. War is not fair. It's presently. Is there any target of opportunity in this time, after all? Uh, we just egressed from the trade station we found you guys at. Uh, that is currently 700 kilometers away from us at this time. I mean, if they are smart, they probably removed all valuable assets from there to another location. That's a fair so point. So why don't we keep going? Push deeper into KE territory? Roger. The commander's got a point. That trade station has likely been drained dry. It won't have anything for us. We encounter another trade station, we could certainly raid it, but perhaps a forward operating base will be our best bet, assuming we run into one. Understood. I would... Thank you, gentlemen. That is all. I will make my decisions in 12 hours. For now, we have a lot of work ahead of us. Yes, sir. I'll do right. that. Let's get a... Uh... Perhaps take a last look at the watchful eye, and then, um, it sounds like they're already going to town on her. And then, uh, yeah. Let's get the Vesuvius into fighting shape. It'll be good to see a rider ship riding into battle again. Well said, Captain. It'll be good All to right. fight alongside the riders. Checking the guys and they get you that list. Roger that. Thank you, gentlemen. Captains. It's been an honor. Captain.